Tesla pickup truck unveiling is around the corner and everybody is really excited, especially because, you know, this image is all we got and we want to know what it's going to look like. The cyberpunk thing is just killing everybody. But once it's unveiled, there are a few different things that do not really guarantee this truck being a huge success. As a matter of fact, it can actually have have some sort of a level of failure compared to all of the success the other models of Tesla had and will have. Like for example, there is no there is no reason to believe that Model Y would not be a huge success or a semi truck or the Roadster. All of these are just expected to be absolutely giant within their uh, their niche, of course. With a pickup truck. I think there are a few things uh, that people are overlooking and uh, there are some concerns to be had. Uh, Tom Malogny of Inside EVs is going to be here to uh, share some of these concerns with me and answer some of them. Of course, we're going to talk about the design, the sales outside of the US, whether it's tough enough, where they can uh, you know, meet the expectations, especially with the tech that they're promising. And of course, the fact that this is the last unveiling that they have on the books and you know, Tesla lives on publicity and excitement. So, uh, you know, is, is should they be using the last bullet in the chamber? Um, so Tom's going to be here to talk about it. Before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Climate Exchange. That's right. They're back with another Tesla raffle. And this time the winner gets any Tesla he or she wants up to $195,000 with essentially any configuration. Only 4,000 tickets are going to be sold. So your chances are pretty good. US only once again. Sorry, sorry about uh, everybody else. And even if you don't win, you'll still be contributing to a great cause. It's a greater environmentally, environmental protection organization. So check out the link in the description of this video. I always go longer with this because I'm really excited about them. Even even though this spot is supposed to be like 10 seconds anyway all right without further ado uh, let me uh, bring in Tom so we can uh, uh, hear what he had to say and we go all of the concerns that I have and if you guys have some in the comment section just throw it in we'll we'll go over them as well Tom how you doing my friend hey Alex thanks for having me again of course I'm excited to do this and all right so the excitement is pretty high do you think there's any other car I mean, obviously, Roadster, nobody knew was coming. But do you think there's any other car, including Model 3, that had this much anticipation as this pickup truck? I mean, people are going crazy over this. Well, first of all, when are we going to see it? I remember back in, I think it was July, Elon tweeted that only two to three months we're going to be able to see it. And now we're already into three months. So let's go, Elon. Get this thing out there. We all want to see what this um, crazy cyberpunk looking vehicle is uh i'm a little a... scared now I, let's just jump right in it i'm a little scared because it does look and you know by the way the pictures i'm showing here is something that i've photoshopped a little bit which you guys can see i just basically uh, you know change the angle a little bit because i think this way you can kind of see what the what it's going to look like up front and we know that it's a front i mean not just because of the lights because elon said so uh but um you know i'm a little bit worried because you know this design may appeal to you and me and may appeal to the you know takeies but th you know that's not who buys the the pickup trucks right the f-150 guys may not go for this type of stuff so what do you think about this idea of cyberpunk uh type of a very advanced design that they're promising yeah it's it's definitely a little risky but you know what let's let's see when we see it you know the i remember when Elon talked about the Model 3's interior, he said that people are going to feel like they're flying a spaceship, not driving a car. And you know, it doesn't. I have a Model 3. Uh, I don't feel like I'm flying a spaceship. It, it's a really cool interior, and I like it. But you know, Elon's a master salesman. He loves to get build up uh, excitement and everything. He does it really great. So let's see you know the, yeah that is kind of a weird funky angle that we got in that teaser uh which they released back at the uh model if you remember you and i were both there at the model y yeah. unveil uh they kind of snuck it into the presentation and nobody saw it there that night they had it like tweeted out afterwards uh, but you know yeah it's kind of weird and i don't know how that's actually going to look like that uh so let's see and if it really does and it's really like Elon says, this real cyberpunk type vehicle, that's going to be interesting to see who's who's interested in that, because I know rural America won't be for the most part. Uh, right. You know, and, but, you know, I mean, the pickup trucks appeal to such a wide variety of people, Alex. We sell almost 
we buy almost 3 million pickup trucks in the US alone per year. That is just an extraordinary number. You know, if he, if Elon just got a minuscule portion of that, they would probably be at the capacity of what they could make. So I don't think that uh, Elon and Tesla really expect to be selling, you know, hundreds or thousands of these to, to farmers in, in Iowa. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think that that's the, the game plan. Will it work for that, for, for those people? That'll be interesting to see if somebody really wanted one, if it would. Um, but, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, he's not going after hardcore pickup truck people with this. And- I don't know, man. I, I think if you're making a pickup truck and you're, you know, you you would be going after the pickup truck humongous. I mean, this is the biggest you know, selling uh, a segment in, in the U.S. definitely. And, you know, not only you can appeal to, you know, regular civilians, really, for the lack of a better word, but also to all kinds of small businesses and large businesses. So if you already go in there, why not? And, and I don't see Elon going like, yeah, we're going to show up and we're going to hang out a little bit and see who buys it. I think he wants to be the king of everything. And if they're producing a pickup truck, he wants this pickup truck to be the best seller. I mean, Okay. Can we expect anything less from him? Uh, mm-hmm. Rightfully so. Well, we could put one thing to rest right now. The Tesla pickup truck is not going to be the best selling pickup truck in America. Period. Okay. <laughs> that simply isn't going to happen. It can sell very well. People can be very happy with it. It is not going to outsell the Ford F-150. It just simply isn't. And to even imagine that it could uh, is 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 honestly ridiculous. Tesla would need to build a whole nother gigafactory just to build pickup trucks. Yeah, they wanted and, to make them in the volume that you know Ford makes the F one fifty here. But this had happened before. I mean, they, first of all, I don't see a problem them building another factory. You know, first of all, but secondly, you know, who would have thought that Tesla Model S was going to outsell every single luxury sedan combined? like three years into it, right? That was a ridiculous thought as well, but. Sure, but you're talking about cars that sell like 10,000 to 15,000 copies per year in the US. Ford makes a million F-150s. It's a totally different ballpark. Well, I'm not saying tomorrow, I'm just saying generally, I think that that would be, so let me back up a little bit. I think that What the reality is going to be is different from, I think, what Elon wants to do and Tesla wants to do. And I don't see them not wanting to be number one in that segment at some point. And therefore, I don't understand why they're going with a non-traditional design. I guess that's that's my point. And but it brings me to the next one, because, yes, we'll see the truck. Hopefully both of us are going to be there uh, and we'll 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 talk about it then but let me bring another point because you know you just mentioned that you know th- there's a ridiculous amount of pickup trucks are being sold in america and it's a very very good market but in europe and china i mean both of us been to europe and china and we don't even have to be there to know the numbers pickups pickup trucks are not a thing and tesla does rely on european and chinese uh, market extremely heavily as a matter of fact model 3 uh, production and sales for the U.S. market has been cut down over the last year because they're selling so many of them in China and Europe. And now they're going to be making them in China partially as well. So, you know, that's forfeiting two pretty big markets there. Is that a concern? Well, you know, we, you still have Australia, New Zealand. They love pickup trucks. <laughs> but um, the U.S. is the number one market for pickup trucks, true. And... You know, yeah, they're not going to sell many in China or Europe, maybe none in China for for all I know. But just go back to the fact that, you know, we buy 3 million pickup trucks a year in the U.S. That market is so big that I don't think that Tesla needs to look outside of the U.S. market to sell as many of the Tesla pickup trucks as they can make, honestly. It's, it's not like a, a sedan that, that if, if they get it right and it's wildly popular, they'll be able to sell as many as they can make here in the U.S. Like I said, that they're not going to be selling a million pickup trucks a year, not for very, very, very long time. All and right. For, you know, I, I, I don't think the European and Chinese sales is that much of a deal, de- uh, that big of a deal with the pickup truck. 
Okay, no. fair enough, fair enough. So, but that brings me to the next point, you know, who's going to be buying these trucks? Like, is it going to be the current F-150 guys? Uh, because that would kind of make sense. And if so, is this truck, is this pickup truck going to be the real pickup truck? Is this going to be tough enough? Right. So, you know, I mean, I have a pickup truck. I have two electric vehicles, my i3, my Model 3, and I have a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck uh, because I need it to plowing. I own some commercial property. I plow the parking lot. I plow my own driveway. I use it whenever I'm hauling anything. I mean, it mostly just sits in my driveway. I don't drive it much, but I'm a, I'm a uh, customer that would get a Tesla pickup truck or a Rivian. So, and I'm not a farmer. I'm not a construction worker. I'm not what you would typically think uh, you know, a, a, a good old Southern boy in his pickup truck with his with his uh, Confederate flag hanging out the back. So um, that's w the point I was making with the fact that we sell so many pickup trucks. It, you can't pigeonhole the pickup truck customer. It, you know, whereas years ago it was farmers and construction workers. Now everybody likes pickup trucks. People drive them like their cars. Uh, they, they, they never go off road with them. They almost never put anything in the bed. They just like it for the utility right. in case they need it. There's so usually I, like a dog and a cooler in the back people. of a most pickup trucks. So you're right. <laughs> a lot of yeah, it is not I, being I used. Yeah, I think Tesla's going to go after those people, Alex, more so than the hardcore truckers, the guys that are rolling coal and, you know, with, uh, you know, 24 inch lifts and, and monster tires. I don't think that that's who Tesla's going after. And uh, I think they shouldn't, uh, you know, because I think, most of those people really aren't into electrification just yet. You know, it's, it's uh, the, the whole adoption rate of, of EVs, it, it's, it's, it's ramping up, but we're not at a point now where just everybody would just switch their gas pickup truck or diesel pickup truck for an electric truck. If one came out, that was cool. There's a, a good portion of the pickup truck segment, in my opinion, wouldn't even consider an electric truck, no matter how good it is. So, don't you know tesla shouldn't even worry about that shouldn't even go after those people pick the go after the low-hanging fruit like me uh who likes pickup trucks and also likes electric cars well let's talk about the low-hanging fruit like you because you know you still have to satisfy your expectations because you know elon said that i mean he literally just tweeted very recently that it's going to be uh, tesla's best product number one Right. And secondly, he, he flat out said that that's his favorite pizza, uh, a, a, a pet project right now. And it's been like this for a while. So the expectations are big. But at the same time, the specs are kind of crazy. So tell us about the specs just so we so just kind of we, we we talk about them in one bunch. And tell me, do you think it's possible? Because, you know, they also said it's going to start under fifty thousand dollars. What What say you? Yeah, you know. It seems like it's too good to be true. And usually when things sound like they're too good to be true, they turn out to be too good to be true. Even though Tesla for the most part is pretty much stuck with the things that they've said. So, I mean, this is, these are some of the things we've heard out of Tesla. It's gonna be for, you know, under $50,000. It's gonna have a 400 to 500 mile range. Think about that. For, for a pickup truck that isn't going to be nearly as aerodynamically, you know, endowed as a, uh, as a car to have a 400 to a 500 mile range, it, you know, for the, for a model, for a model S to have a 400 to a 500 mile range, it would have to have what a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. So for a pickup truck to have that kind of range, I don't know. What does it have to have? A 200 kilowatt hour battery pack? Well, I think I think they're also counting on their Maxwell acquisition and just progress in, in, in battery development. Now, we should probably, we can't make a video about pickup trucks and not mention a Rivian, obviously. But, you know, Rivian is going to also have that type of a uh, type of the range. But obviously, a humongous battery and the price, I believe, is, is going to be in, in the 70s. So, you That's know. That's the thing. Starting in the 70s, I, 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 I think it's even the high 70s. I, I have to check that. You know, so now Elon's saying under 50,000, 400 to 500 mile range, but that's not even the best part. The, the, the best was a towing capacity. It's supposed to have a towing capacity of 300,000 pounds. Now, to put that in perspective, a, a brand new Ford F-150 without any special towing packages has somewhere between 5,000 and 8,000 pounds of towing capacity. 
you can get the special towing package and i think it brings it up to 13,200 pounds for the, the ford f-150 so like that's as good as the f-150 gets like the benchmark of pickup trucks for the u.s can tow at best 13,200 pounds and this tesla pickup trucks going to be able to tow 300,000 pounds that's like 23 times more than the best towing capacity of an F-150. So you, you start putting all the under 50,000, 500 miles of range, 300,000 pounds of towing capacity. Uh, Elon set, I hear you. setting us up for some pretty darn good ex high expectations. Can he deliver on all of those? I, I he's, he's kind of in the past, but um, that's some pretty wild stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Right. And I think it's not just about the, the, the batteries and the motors. It's also about tires. <laughs> There's only so much tires can do. But okay, uh, all of this is great. But one thing that I've also been thinking is that, you know, Tesla is a company that uh, moves forward and their stock does well overall because they're an exciting company that's moving forward and it's very entertaining. A lot of people, and by the way, I don't want to get into politics, but a lot of people compare Elon Musk to Donald Trump not because of politics or whatever, maybe their use of Twitter, but because both win because they're entertaining, if anything, regardless of what the actual product is, right? Entertainment is the key nowadays. Uh, and, 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 you know, Elon and, and Tesla is entertaining. And part of that entertainment is that, you know, they consistently have some unveilings and some exciting things coming up. Like we've been talking about this pickup truck, like, for crying out loud, like, I mean, your inside EVs that you really contribute to and a lot of other publications, just every other day, you know, pickup truck, you know, we can't wait. We can, we only have one freaking picture right now. And there's like 10 or 15 or 20 renderings, which by the way, Elon said all are wrong, but you know, it's, <laughs> it, it's like, it's, it's amazing, but this is the last one in their pi a pipeline, right? That's it. After this, they don't have anything to unveil. And honestly, there's only, I mean, they have a roadster, they have a SUV, they have a small SUV, they have a a large and small sedans now pickup truck and the solar roof and you know i don't think there's anything to unveil except for maybe next generation and refreshes so do you think using the last bullet in the chamber can really kind of bring the excitement down uh, at some point where you know there's only going to be possible disappointments with production wrap up issues and so forth so what do you think is this is this kind of risky well you know we don't know what lies beyond what we've heard about so far and that would be the y is coming out then the roadster and the pickup truck so but elon's great he'll come up with something else bob lutz who i'm not a huge fan of anymore actually said this about elon a few years ago four or five years ago that you know he's a great showman and one of his strengths is how he always says wow look at how great this car is that we just brought out now but this car that's coming out in two, three years, that's the really great Tesla that we're going to have. And he always does that. So at this point now, like you said, there is no, but wait till you see this car because the Ys is pretty much here. Uh, now we just have the pickup truck. We kind of know everything about the Roadster. Of course, there's going to be little tweaks. It's going to be a little bit better probably than, than what we've seen. But there is no, hey, this is great, but wait till you see this. Not yet, at least. I'm, I'm sure something is, is coming down the road. But for now, yeah, you're right. This is kind of, the pickup truck is really like the next thing that we haven't seen yet. It's the only Tesla vehicle that's we, that we know about that's been planned that we don't know. We know it's coming, but we don't know what it looks like. We don't know very much about it. And uh, I have a feeling that, at some point down the road, we'll get that next shiny object for us to reach to try to, you know, grab that's kind of a year or two away from us. I think that's just their MO and that's how Tesla operates right now. So uh, I don't think he'll disappoint you, Alex. There's going to be, he's going to pull some kind of rabbit out of his hat and we're going to be like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> as long as he's pulling it out of the hat. 
then I'm, I'll be okay <laughs> with that. So, all right, listen, uh, you know, I appreciate your discussion, and you know, I, I you know, you, 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 you did make some good points that actually kind of changing me, uh, changing my mind now that maybe it doesn't need to be the number one, uh, uh you know, truck to be sold out. That he, they will sell every single one they'll make. Um, and I guess maybe you're right. And you know, people probably know we don't rehearse these, so I, I, I'll take that. I, I, I'm a little bit still concerned about the specs, just like you are, and and just meeting expectations, and also you know, coming up with the next big thing. Um, I think they are running out of just things to make into great electric cars or vehicles. But yeah, all right, well, I'm, I'm excited about this. Um, before we go, tell people where they can follow you so they can follow the excitement, uh, because I know you're, uh, you make things interesting on Twitter once in a while as well. So yeah, since you mentioned Twitter, you can fat me, follow me at Tomalog. And also over at Inside EVs, I'm one of the regular staff writers there. You could check us out and see what I'm up to on Inside EVs. We should also mention that uh, we're both going to be attending the Ford unveiling, which is supposed to be the biggest thing uh, for the LA Auto Show. Um, I know you'll be peeling off and going into a, another interesting adventure, and I'll be staying for the LA Auto Show reporting from there. But we should tape one or two videos there, so, you know, so our audience will see us once again, just kind of doing this in person. I know everybody enjoys that, but hey, um, thanks for a joining me once again and i will see you next week absolutely thanks alex see you then all right well you know i this is why i have tom on because he does have some really really good ideas and really good perspective right if anything my whole point is to have people with different perspectives and you know i i, I can see some of the things where where he's probably right as, as far as the demand for the truck and and whether or not it needs to be number one maybe this time around you would concede that it just needs to be all sold out so that does make sense now the links that uh, uh tom just mentioned is are also in the description of this video uh one of the things i just also wanted to mention and uh thank one of my uh, newer patreons um, uh, paul marcel uh, thank you so much for supporting me as you know uh, you can watch this videos live that's one of the perks but most importantly i'm a full-time youtuber and your support is very much appreciated because that's how i buy groceries uh another thing that i should also mention is that if you are looking to uh, see all of the behind the scenes footage especially next couple of weeks as i go to a few different adventures follow me on uh, instagram at e4 electric uh there's a lot of fun to be had sometimes i use tom's pictures and videos um that are also fun and don't forget to subscribe for a free uh, uh newsletter where we uh, deliver bonus stories we call it the vip list all of this all of these links are in the description of uh, this uh, video uh we're looking forward to uh, your comments what do you guys think about the pickup truck are you concerned are you excited are you a reservation holder let us know we'll check it out other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged Thank <laughs> you.